Welcome back to Crochet Creations and Addictions number 119. I have some of that uh, Pepsi with the uh, mango flavor in it today. And uh, I'm hotter and then hacking here. So I'm going to try and do this quick, but then again, when, at, when have I ever done anything really quick? <laughs> Grab a cup and join me. Um, today we have just a, a few short little things. Um, and I have another video that I'm going to post. Because I wanted to kind of post that opening of that, that challenge separate. So there will be two videos today. <clears throat> But then again, I might have a couple more short videos throughout July than I normally have for the month, for a given month. So that's kind of fun. I'll probably be working on something and then just pop in. And It's kind of like a vlog month. Christmas in July challenge um, vlog. But I don't want to commit to every single day. So there'll be different videos this month where I just chit chat that kind of thing you know I just don't know when right so hats hats and more hats for June I didn't draw it yet I do usually draw that separately and I videotape it separately and I post it in the Facebook group and I will draw it later on I just got home from work and um, so I haven't drawn it. This was the yarn that was picked for June. It is Universal Classic Shades Frenzy. And I've been knitting with it. And it is a dream to knit with. Now this was a bulkier four than most fours. It does say on the package that it is a bulky. But I say it's a bulky four, but you know what? They, it could be a bulky five. It doesn't really say, but it has got a little wool in it, a 30% content of wool. These hanks or skeins are 158 yards. Look at that color. It is not disappointing me at all. <clears throat> the color is... And I said it before, fairy tale. So, I, like I said, I was knitting with it. It is not done. I'm hoping that I have a little time over the weekend, because it's holiday weekend, to finish it up. And look at it. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Isn't it just gorgeous? So, there was quite a few parents that stopped at my craft table over the holiday uh, sales that I went to like in November and in December and they all wanted a smaller size hat for like anywhere between 7 years old to 12 years old and they didn't think that I had any that would fit them so this is going to be on that smaller range by taking the bulkier yarn and using just a little bit smaller of a hook, or needle I mean, I'm using a five millimeter um, rather than the six, and then don't doing as many, I'm getting just about 19 inch hat, which is much better for that size that they're looking for. But look at the colors, I'm loving it. This probably is going to make two of these, right? A little bit of wool. It's going to keep them warm. But, of course, I will post that on the hat that it does have wool in it. So whoever wins the month of June will win a skein of that. And that will be drawn tonight. I'll either post it tonight or tomorrow, the winner. I did not pick out any hats, hats, and more hats for July yet for the yarn that's spotlighted for July. I will pick that out and I will probably show that on Sunday or one of these mini July videos. 
because you know you have a lot of things going on I have to draw the granny the glorious granny winner for June I'm not going to do that today either so those are the two things I'll save for the next two days and then I was working on a hat on Sunday to replace the little hat for Felicity and that was the miniature uh, toddler hat that we did on Sunday and I based this off of a bag of day pattern and uh, put a ribbon through the middle section that has little daisies on it so you can join in that make uh, at any time you can watch the video from last Sunday and learn how to do the changes that I did I used an eye hook you can use an H it comes out about a six to eight six to nine month size and then the little bit bigger one was with the eye it came out about two inches wider in the uh, the in the band area so that's awesome I got that done she'll get that tomorrow yeah um let's see that's all the finishes I have to show you today but I do have is um, the Christmas in July challenge now this is a collaboration with Bev from Beverly's crafts I'll link all of her links below because she has got a challenge on her page that you can enter in and you can make a towel topper well no a towel with one of these characters on either the um, snowman the uh, Santa the gingerbread man or any of the other characters she has them she has a brand new video up today July 1st and it tells you all about the challenge now this is a paid-for pattern but she has a whole bunch of free links and you can use any of those and I am supporting that challenge because if I did my own challenge for July, it would have made me a little bit more crazy than I'm already because this month we are moving um, on my husband's business. And I really wanted to not have another thing that I had to commit to. So rather than do that, I said I would make my mine my challenge is to make the towel and then if anybody else wanted to do a towel or a stocking for July then they could enter into um, Bev's challenge now here's the little thing that I want you to know if you go over and enter into Bev's stuff make sure that you tell her that Christy sent you because I want her to be able to know that a lot of people watched this and came over there and I will have her draw from that challenge for me to also give away a prize that way I don't have to watch and keep track of everybody but she will let me know who is the winner on July 31st so you have to be in you have to enter your finished towel or stocking by July 30th so she can draw and then she'll draw a name for me also and it's a, that's gonna be a mystery of what I put in to that prize so how's that that is my contribution to that challenge I have all my stuff for, to make my snowman in this bag that I got from Nancy and uh, I'll be starting that this weekend most likely and I think what I'm gonna do is once in a while I'm gonna vlog about it I don't know we'll see <laughs> we will see okay let's move on to the bracket game bracket game summer bracket game 2022 I am adding a skein of yarn now this skein of yarn was in Hobby Lobby and it jumped literally jumped right off of the shelf into my hands and into the cart before I even started shopping and deciding what I was going to do and the reason why it did was because it was going to be for you guys to try and see who was going to get it out of the bracket game so here it is yep -er, it's that beautiful 
purple I love this yarn gradient yep there it is it's 100% acrylic it is gorgeous they have about 196 yards in there you cannot beat these yarns they are gorgeous and I added on one of the daisy stitch uh, prod project keepers or whatever markers with the um, with that kind of clasp the lobster claw clasp I added that on that will go in the basket so there's my add-on for today now I want to go over to the YouTube comment picker and I want to go to the addictions 108 and I want to get a new winner for today's video and I'm gonna wait a minute why do you always gotta be like that Ugh. it's just moving all around isn't it come on now stop Look, at, it's half on the page and half not. I'm like, why? Why does it have to be such a pain? It always has got to be this way. Come on. Okay, here we go. Let's put in the multi or the addition number that we need as soon as we get a... I'm telling you. I can't win. I really can't. Come on. See, it wants me to put in an addition number, but it doesn't give me the, the keypad to do it. <laughs> you know how this goes, right? Aha! A keypad! Oh boy! Okay, 6 and 8 is 14. Get the YouTube comments, please. We are getting them. Oh my, the fans are on, so I'm hoping you can hear me today. I know it's hard. Oh, it changed the number thing. It changed it to a different number. Get YouTube comments, please. Come on, why do you got to be this way? <laughs> Aha, is it going to work? gonna work is it gonna work <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure why it's not it's not finding a a connection maybe aha 54 comments it found them all right okay let's move it up and start the raffle all right here we go we're going we're going it's working, finally. You're not going to believe who the winner is. Okay. Winner is, there will show you one more time, Deb Murray. Yeah, uh-huh. Love this bracket game. Would love a spot on the bracket board and also love that blue Highland wool. Well, the blue Highland wool is still in the basket. And does Deb have a spot? Yes, she does. So I'm guessing that she is going to pick out that blue Highland wool. So you're going to make sure that you go back to 108 and change your comments if you have that blue Highland wool in there. Because she's going to grab it right up. Right? So congratulations to my good friend Deb Murray on her win today and uh, I'll be sure and get that right out to you on Tuesday after you claim it and that's how I ask everyone to uh, make sure that they send me a message saying hey I saw the video such and such I won such and such and who you are if I don't know who you are Okay, now there is going to be something else before we go. I am going to use this stupid thing again, and I am going to go back to the wheel today. 
And why I'm doing this one is because I wanted to do something on the wheel on this video. And last month I started a sock challenge. And this beautiful yarn from uh, Teeny Button Studios was the first sock yarn in June to be offered up. I added one of these really cute teeny tiny mushrooms and this is the yarn for June and I gotta tell you 17 people have already posted some kind of sock that they are either making or they have been making all month and have finished and started a second one and so how this is going to run is I already went in and I wrote a comment that says I'm marking this and drawing so June is drawn well June is being drawn right now it is on the wheel right now I put all 17 people that had a photo of some kind of progress on a sock so that means that if you showed just your yarn and didn't come back later in the month and show me progress on the sock you may have been missed so remember you need to have a picture of your actual sock going on now you can use that same project and enter again in July but you have to show progress on your your sock again in July so in between the marks when I draw you need another photo so that's how that sock yarn challenge is gonna work so let's see who won the teeny button studio yarn now this yarn is Zydeco soft sock yarn it is uh, merino and nylon blend fingering weight 463 yards and it's just gorgeous all by itself um, so let's find out who it is shall we the winner of the first sock yarn month of June will be Judy McKenzie. So Judy is going to win that yarn. She does have to let me know that she saw the video. Now, if somebody does not claim a prize, I have many times had people not claim prizes. Not often, but sometimes. And that prize always gets put back in the prize bin and I reuse it in another giveaway. So I do not redraw. I don't have time to go back and redo things. So that's what's gonna happen if it's not claimed. You do have a week from the weekly update to claim. So today's Friday, I will do the weekly update on Sunday like I usually do. And then you have a week from Sunday to claim your prize for that, that week. So that's how that works. Okay, are you ready for the July sock yarn? This is going to be different. Um, I think that some of the socks need to be normal. Not always bright colors. Not always speckles. Not always stripes. So today, for July, I picked out this hank from Nancy's donation. And this is Cat's kettle now you can see that it is a tonal beautiful beautiful colors all through it and they are calling this arsenic and old lace arsenic and old lace it is a, a four ply fingering weight 75 percent superwash merino wool 25 percent nylon and it has 438 yards, plenty enough to do what you want with. And then, of course, I did add the last teeny tiny mushroom stitch marker to this skein. So this is our July sock challenge yarn. It'll be given at the end of the month 
and you do have to have a new photo posted in that post. All the links are below to find me. My Facebook group, you can be a new uh, group member if you would like to join in the sock challenge because now everybody that's in there, they can still be in. I just, I'm putting in month number two. So um, next to your name on my book, in my journal, I'll put a number two if after your name. Um, and then if you don't have a two, then you won't be in the second month drawing. So that's how that goes. Um, let's see. All the places that you can find me, um, Facebook, uh, YouTube, or I mean Etsy, Etsy shop. I got to do an update. I got a couple things, a couple hats that need to be put in there. I'm going to try and get them in there over the weekend because I have Monday off. I am going to be working a lot on some paperwork for my husband's shop and then here I will try and catch up and uh, finish up all the drawings this weekend for June and that kind of thing. So I hope everybody is going to have a great holiday weekend. I hope to see you on Sunday on the live 10 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time and we will be talking about our novelty make along that we're doing. Check that out. You know, anytime you don't know what's going on, all you do is go to the Facebook group that's affiliated with this channel. They are they go together. And go to go to the group and hit the feature tab. Under the feature tab, it is always up to date. I pull everything out of there that's old. All the things that are new are in there. Deb keeps toes on me. She makes sure that uh, I remove the old posts, put in the new ones, um, that kind of thing. So when you're looking for something old, you have to look in the search. But when you're looking for the hats for um, the current months, all you have to do is hit that feature tab and it comes right up. Um, there are a couple posts there. One's a swap post where you can swap uh, a yarn or ask for a yarn to be swapped um, that you need an extra one or two that is no longer discontinued yarn. That is in there. Um, anytime we have a swap, there's a place to see, you know, the pictures of the girls that swapped. Sometimes they put that in there. What's going on with uh, No Filter it can be found in there. And uh, yeah, next week on, I don't know, Tuesday or Wednesday night, most likely you will hear from Stephanie and I and what's going on with us. So that should be fun. And um, so I guess I'm done gabbing for today, but I will be back a couple times this weekend. So I hope you all have a great evening. Take a moment out of each day and be creative. Talk to you later. Bye for now.